Yeah, guys, we're back for another blaster review. Sorry, it's uh, very bright here. But today, we are taking a look at a blaster I've been wanting to get for my birthday. And this blaster is not mine, but it is my friend's. By the way, thank you very much. I know it doesn't have a YouTube channel, but shout out to him. They're awesome. This is the Nerf Fortnite BASRL Bolt Action Sniper Rifle Legendary. Because I was about to be like, what's L for? But then I found out it was legendary. So this blaster is a bolt action. So... I don't have any bolt action blasters, and this is my very first time having a sniper rifle, and this is awesome because this is a blaster I've been wanting to get for my birthday, and I was wondering, how does it work? How does it shoot? And I'm glad my friend showed me so I can actually, you know, play with it for a little bit, have some experience with it before if I want to see if I want to buy it, and this thing is awesome. So, there's a long barrel right here, but we don't have to get to that. This is a stock. Um... Uh, usually when you get this out of the box, you put the stock on and then you can't remove it unless if you modify it. There is a video of a mod, but uh, yeah, this is super cool. And the grip, the grip feels super comfortable. I, uh, I love that grip. That's super serviceable. That's probably one of the best grips of Nerf. The motor strike grip in Rev Trigger was absolutely horrible. That hurt me twice. Or a lot of times, but this grip feels very nice. Probably one of the best grips Nerf has ever made for a sniper. The bolt action is buttery smooth. This is probably the second buttery smooth prime I've ever got my hands on. For my for my birthday, I also want to get the Nerf Mega Twin Shock, which is a 10 shot shotgun blaster that shoots 10 at a time, so basically 5 shots. That prime, people say it is the smoothest prime ever, and I can't wait to maybe get my hands on it if I get it for my birthday. By the way, my birthday is October 29th. But yeah, this, uh, this is the second best prime so far I've seen and uh, used. But I actually seen it. And the stock, it's pretty good. You know, you get like a sniper feeling. Yes, hold up. You might say, oh, where's the scope? Well, my friend sold the scope to somebody, he said, I don't know why, but he used to have the scope for it, but that's okay, it's like, you can't have a sniper rifle without a scope, but it's just me, you know, I'm not gonna go all, you know. And, the cool thing is, this blaster has slam fire. What kind of sniper rifle has slam fire? Which is from Nerf. Not really many, except for maybe this. No other sniper rifle has slam fire. The, except for the maybe the long strike, I don't know. The Nerf Modulus long strike, I don't know if that has slam fire. Maybe that does, I should look up video, I thought it did, but yeah. Maybe that definitely leads to maybe the Modulus long strike. So when you hold down the trigger, that is super comfortable. I love that you know that is a really good uh, bolt action so uh what the yeah i'm gonna show you this thing fire this thing is so amazing so uh i'm gonna let's show you the firing because uh I really like this blaster, like, this is a blaster I got for my birthday, and finally I get to use it. Finally, after all this time, I can use the Fortnite BASRL. And, uh, yeah, and this is a jam door here, in case if you have any jams. I don't know why this broke off, this, uh... There we go. There we go, I got the bolt back on. Nice. So I thought I thought it was broke, but I think you can uh take it back on. I don't know if you can, but uh, at least I got that because I was about I was very uh 
and so in now. But anyway, let's uh let's take this guy to the range. This is my six round magazine. The six round magazine I fired earlier with my friends. And I'm gonna show you the difference here. Oh, there's my spell mag. This is my friends, and this six round mag has nerf and end strike on it. This does it, and I don't know what this mag comes, you know, with. Because I thought this came with the BASRL, but it didn't. But, anyway guys, let's show you the range. And by the way, this is a deep priming bar right here, this button. So, uh, when you press it, wait. This button right here, so when you press it, you can actually prime it again. Take out the magazine. If you have with any jams. And, uh... I've seen people have a lot of problems with this blaster, cause with they shoot a couple times and then it works, but then when they use Avenged Force Waffles and Aka Strikes, they don't really work well. And I'm gonna get a 200 pack of Avenged Force Waffles hopefully, and um, cause these darts are way heavier than Elite darts, and I tried this in a Flywheel Blaster, which yeah, Flywheel Blaster we're gonna be getting to that review very soon. Um, there's just you know. Not really, you know, enough, like, you know, distance for Avenger Force Waffles than Elite Darts. But anyway, guys, let's take this out to the range, because my gosh, I really like this blaster. I am so hyped. Anyway, guys, let's show you this. And this long barrel, I wish it wasn't that long, because people are having problems. But if it works, it's been working fine for me. It might have problems, I'm not sure, but if it works... It works. So, uh, let's get out to the range. Perfect. I told you this range is great. It's just the best. Let's do it. That. See that? See that? There's a problem with these darts that are just, you know, just... Yeah, they're just gonna... Yeah, these darts are just gonna just fight out of the barrel sometimes. That gets super annoying for like a stock blaster. Um, I want this thing to work. Let's try that again. Standard elite. I tested it with standard elite darts. It worked. But why would you use elite darts? They suck. Yeah, see the, you didn't see it, but the dart just, uh, sometimes it won't fire, and it'll just come out of this long barrel if you tilt it down like this. So, uh, yeah, that can be kind of a problem. This is just, this is embarrassing. It really is. Yes, got all of them. I'm not going to do the slam fire because I might accidentally break the bolt again. And uh, I don't think this is really designed to slam fire that well. You can technically use it, but you saw how that worked, huh? Yeah, you might have some uh, problems with slam fire. So, uh, hey, that was pretty good. Not too bad, but I... Uh, I don't, you know, I, I I don't like when they do that. Seriously, I don't. It, it's just embarrassing and disappointing. Um, there's more darts I shot here. Hey, this, this went pretty good. Exceedingly far. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I thought that was a dart. I, I couldn't see that. God. People are going to laugh at me when I do that. Oh, God. Alright. Oh, one right here. I didn't even see this one. What the heck? Alright, we're gonna load up all six in here. In my magazine and my friend's magazine.
this is so much fun doing like sometimes I like doing this. Oh, it's not dropping. Alright. So I'll load all six of these bad boys in here. This is Adventure Force Waffles. And six more Adventure Force Waffles, cause why not? Adventure Force Waffles are the best starts. Screw elites, screw Hacker Strikes. Hacker Strikes are good, but I yeah. Not really fatal anymore. Now that Adventure Forces are here, you can buy these stars pretty much anywhere. And I don't think I must, uh, I think I must have skipped the dart. I don't know, maybe I'll find that dart. Who cares? I can find that. I'm not gonna be all overprotective like I usually do in my darts. That's a problem with me, you know? Sometimes I'm way too overprotective about things. And even though I buy them, that means I have to buy more darts. Like, I get, you know, I don't know why. I'm just way too overprotective. I I really should stop that. Like, you know, it's like, friends play with them. They, uh, sorry about that. If friends want to play with my darts, feel free. They can play with my darts. But I don't know why. Like, if they use too many of them, that's when I, you know, start to get all, oh, wait. I put the magazine the wrong way. Crap, I did not pay attention to that. Why me? Seriously. At least the only magazine with the five darts. So, we're going to shoot 11 darts, unfortunately. Let's do it. Got this mag. What about the other mag? Uh, yep, perfectly fine. First, we're going to do my mag, because that has the most darts. Um, is that really true? Yeah, they're just spinning all out of control right there. We got that. Now we're going to swap to uh, my friend's magazine. This one has five guys. See, that happened again. The, uh, it didn't go pretty good cooperatively. I'm going to angle this one. Because, you know, who doesn't like angling shots? Why is it not firing this one dart? Um, come on, sniper. Sniper with the longest barrel. You have an ugly little barrel. <laughs> Okay, now now I'm just being stupid at this point. There you go. So overall, what are my what do I recommend you buy this blaster? Well, if you don't really care about elites, and you know you you like using elites, but trust me, you're not gonna want to use no elite darts anymore because they suck. But if you want to just plank around, use elites and a sniper, I do. But I kind of feel sad for the Avenger Force Waffle Dutch for this. Because it's so awesome and like, who wants to use elites? Because like, elites are lighter than waffles, so I guess they might not work. But like, it worked kind of well, but now it's not. Man, at least I got them to fire, because they fire. They work well. But anyway, guys, if I have to give a 1 to 10 for this blaster, I would give this blaster a 7 out of 10. And if I would have ranked this, uh, you know, from 